Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Fawn. Hello, hi, my name is Jennifer Fawn. I'm Michelle's mom. My mother and I, we've been in a few videos, but this is the first time we're having other people film us. I'm so nervous, but I have my daughter and you make me feel good. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, I got your back, mommy. <laughs> Growing up, I used to watch my mother get ready in the morning before she would head off to work. Sometimes, like, I get the lipstick, I put on her lip gel a bit, not much. She would yes, just add a touch yes. of lipstick on my lips. Yeah. She knew how much I, I yeah. loved makeup. Yeah. Then I told her, you're still young, don't put makeup on, <laughs> look natural, beautiful. Yeah. But I saw it differently. I, I did appreciate my natural beauty, but I saw makeup was an extension to art. Like, I have children, I want, like, the girl mostly grow up. They know how to clean and cooking. <laughs> they can pl play piano. They can do a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah, my mom, she always emphasized how important it was for me to learn how to clean after myself. She never told me you have to learn how to cook to get a man. She's like, no, you have to learn how to cook so that you can feed yourself and you can feed your kids and you can take care of people. She emphasized me being in the kitchen while she was making traditional Vietnamese food like pho, uh, bún bò huế, uh, bánh mực lạp, uh, bánh xèo. Yep. Now growing up, and I'm an adult now, I appreciate everything that she taught me. We didn't have a lot of money, and so she taught me to be simple. And she taught me, even though you have a lot of money, don't spend it all on clothes. I love my children very much. She does, and I love her. <laughs> I was. I lost my mom. I was young. And now I look back, I look at my children, I don't want them to have the same like me. My mom was 10 when she lost her mom. <laughs> All my love for my children, even them grow up, is still my baby anyway. No one taught her, that's the crazy part, no one taught her how to make all this food. She's a good mom, this is why, this is why <laughs> I stay up, I only sleep four hours a day. <laughs> so I can take care of my mom, my family. And I really hope people can be inspired by our story. If you have such a strong love for your family, nothing can change that, nothing can break that. There's no excuse for anyone saying, oh, I don't have time for my family. It's like, yes, you do. If you have time to watch your favorite TV show, you have time to call your mom and just tell her that you love her. I call her like, mommy, uh, it's like, Mommy dearest, mommy I. I'll scream on the phone really loud, <laughs> mommy I. And so she has to hold the phone this far because I get so excited to talk to her. And she calls me, mommy mong naiam, mommy goi kong yi. Michelle Teo ko me. Michelle Teo means little, little, <laughs> little Michelle. Yeah. And that's her nickname for me. We hope you enjoyed our heartfelt interview. I love you, mom. I love you too. Don't forget to send your parents and your family some love, guys. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>